Hello everyone, my name is Jerry Bureau and welcome back to Digimon Survive. So this time we just started part 8 I believe and we're back in Takuma's house apparently. You're sure you've got everything Takuma? Yeah mom, I'm all set. Oh, what about the camp guide? Did you remember to bring an extra handkerchief? And it gets cold quickly in the mountains. You'll need both a jacket and a coat. I've got all I need, Mom. I went through it all last night and checked again just now. Well, it never hurts to double check. Remember that time you were in second grade? You came home from that field trip in tears because you forgot to pack your lunch. I feel like I've done that. Mom, that was years ago. Once she starts with that story, she doesn't stop. I'll be late if I don't cut her off. Oh, and I don't want you staying up too late when you get there. Try not to stare at your phone too much. On the bus, you'll get car sick. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, and one more thing. What now? I sewed a little good luck charm into your pants. Mom, that's so weird. Why would you do that? If you ever get in trouble, you don't know what to do, I want you to look at it, okay? She's so superstitious. Mom, I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh, Takuma, don't you know you'll always be my little boy? Man, I don't even know what to say to that. Whatever, Mom. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. I wish she wouldn't treat me like I was still five years old all the time. What's she so worried about anyway? I'm just going on a camping trip. I mean, sure, I'll always be her kid, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to grow up. It doesn't mean I'll never be an adult. See you when I get back. Takuma, wait! You forgot this! I missed something? Well, I'm pretty sure I got everything I need. It can't be that important. Sorry, Mom. I don't want to be late. Oh, fuck. What did I forget? Takuma, stop! Come back! Takuma! Oh. What's gotten into her? you think this was a matter of life and death or something. Maybe it is, you dummy. Takuma! Takuma! Huh? That's odd. It's like her voice is getting farther and farther away as I run away. Takuma! 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 Is that really my mom calling for me? What is it, Aoi? <laughs> She's kind of mom-like. Is this Agumon? Takuma. It's okay, Mom. I got everything. No need to panic. Takuma, wake up. Uh, what? That's not my mom's voice. Sounds familiar, though. Why does it feel like I'm shaking? Probably being shaken. Takuma, come on. Woo. Oh, Takuma, you're awake. Hooray. Ogumon? So all that stuff with my mom. I guess that was a dream. A dream? Takuma, are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Got a little mixed up there. But, uh... We back in the... Digital world? Human world? We're definitely nowhere near where we last were. There sure are a lot of red spider lilies in this forest. <gasps> Wait. Red spider. Arukenimon. Where are we? Beats me. All I know is we were here when I woke up and you were lying on the ground. Why are we in this forest? And what was I doing before? Did you forget, Takuma? Uh, sorry. My memory's really fuzzy. You mean you forgot what happened right before we came here? Right before we came here? That's weird. Everything is all mixed up in my head. I can't remember. 
What's the last thing you remember? Uh, let's see. We went to the abandoned factory to try and rescue Mayuki, right? That checks with what I remember. Right. And then, oh yeah, we fought Piedmon and we won. We sure did. But then Mayuki got swallowed up by the fog. So we went after her and we wound up in some kind of music room where we found Mayuki. You got it, Takuma. Turns out you did remember everything. I'm so glad. Yeah, apparently I did. It's all coming back now. I remember talking with Mayuki and she was speaking normally. I feel like she did something, and then we were all covered in this white light. Yeah, she started singing. Hmm, no, that's it. I guess I still can't quite remember everything. Maybe if I could ask Mayuki, she could would know. Hey, that's right. Where's Mayuki? What happened to her? Don't ask me. Well, when I woke up, everyone else was gone. It was just you and me. Well, we can worry about what happened later. First, we need to find Mayuki. Right. Where could Mayuki have gone? I don't think she'd be too far. Should we try looking farther out? No, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The trees are thicker that way, and you never know what might be hiding in the shadows. Plus, something about this place seems off. What do you mean? I can't quite put my finger on it. But this forest, something about it is different. It's not quite the same as I'm used to. Oh yeah, I noticed something like that too. So, it's not just me. What is it that's bothering you, Agumon? Well... Oh? <laughs> Piedmon's like standing right behind me. Huh? That sounded like... I heard it too, Takuma. It came from over that way. Takuma, look over there. It's Mayuki. Mayuki? I don't see shit. Oh. Where am I? Mayuki, do you remember me? Uh, Takuma? I'm so glad we found you. Are you alright? You're not hurt or anything, are you? I don't think so. But what are we doing here? Honestly, right now, I'm just glad it sounds like you really are okay. What? Oh, I was afraid that maybe you'd lost the ability to speak again. You mean, you were worried about me? Why wouldn't we be? After all, you're one of our closest friends. Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. I've been meaning to tell you something. Thank you so much for being so nice to me and my brother this whole time. There, I finally got to say thank you. Was that clear enough? Yeah, of course. But I mean, it's not like you have to thank us for anything. I haven't been doing anything special. I just treated you how I felt like treating you. You're freezing. Yeah, me too. Well, I felt like thanking you just now too, so I did. <laughs> we make a good pair, don't we? Mm. So, so. I guess we do, uh -huh. You know, I've never had a chance to talk with you like this before, Mayuki. Really? Wasn't she talking like this in that other place before we came here? Yeah, but that was minutes ago, and there was a bunch of shit that just went down. Well, we didn't exactly have a lot of time there. We never had the chance to chit-chat. Oh! 
This does feel like a fresh start. I guess I should say, nice to meet you, Takuma. Right. Nice to meet you too, Mayuki. Same to you, Agumon. You too, Mayuki. So, Takuma, Agumon, where are we exactly? Oh yeah, we shouldn't just be standing around chatting like this. Sorry, but I have a hard time remembering things from when I was out of it. No need to apologize. To be honest, we're still not entirely sure where this is either. But we do know there's something off about this forest. It's not normal. Oh yeah, we were talking about that earlier. What was it that struck you as different about this place, Agumon? I can't sense anything in this forest. Like me or the others. You mean nothing? Like you at all? Right. I can't even sense Falcomon or Drachmon or anyone else. So what does that mean? I don't know either. If I can't sense Falcomon or anyone else, there's definitely something weird going on. Maybe that means we're really far away from the others. Well, from what I saw, it doesn't seem like we're anywhere near the factory. We're probably still somewhere on that weird island, but it's strange. I don't remember any flowers in that forest we had to go through to get to the factory. Wait, that's it. The red spider lilies. That's what's so weird about this place. And in this world, red spider lilies only grow in one specific area. Does that mean we somehow wound up back by the school? Oh, even I understood that. When you said it didn't look familiar, I figured it wasn't anywhere we had been. No, that can't be it. The surroundings don't quite match up. If anything, this is like... No. It, it can't be, can it? I mean, there's no way, right? Things don't just work out like that. I need to calm down and think this through again. Carefully examine all that I know, one thing at a time like the professor would. Is something wrong, Takuma? Did you figure something out? No, no, I can't be sure of anything yet. Oh, now I'm like the professor. If you say so. So what do we do now, Takuma? Uh, right. I've been wondering about that too. I don't see much point in staying here. Then again, if we just head out blindly and get lost, that won't help either. I don't sense any enemies nearby, but you think I should go see what's up ahead? But that would mean splitting up. Don't you think that could be dangerous? Hmm, I guess it could be. What do you think, Takuma? Under the circumstances, our options are limited. We could stay here and hope the others find us. Or the three of us could go take a look around. Then again, we could have Agumon do the looking while Mayu Mayuki and I stay here. Uh, what's our best? What's our best option? Look around the gather. Damn it. You're supposed to stay put if you get lost in the woods. But we didn't really get lost in the woods. We got magically teleported somewhere. Even if Agumon isn't sensing any danger, you never know what could be out there. Why don't we stay here and wait for the others to find us? 
After all, there's no sign of that fog anywhere, so we should be safe. I mean, I think at least stay here for a little. Okay, I guess. That's what you want to do, Takuma. Agumon does not seem to like that idea. Um, I'm sorry, but... Hmm? I think waiting around will just make me more nervous. I mean, what if we're somewhere really far away from everyone else? Besides, I've relied on the others for so long. I want to go find them this time. You know, I hadn't thought about it, but Mayuki did just regain control of herself. Of course she is going, isn't going to want to wait around like nothing's changed. Actually, I'm sorry, I think I made the wrong call. Really? You mean you've changed your mind? Let's all look around for some clues that could lead us back to the others. Now that's more like it. Good call, Takuma. So now that that's settled, which way should we go? Hey, Takuma, look over there. Hmm? It's all lit up. It sure is. Funny, it was dark until just now. The light's shining in just one spot, like it's showing us the way to go. She's right. It's almost like we're being guided down the right path. No, this could still all be a coincidence. It could also be the wrong path. Alright, let's head for the light. We followed the light, lighted path this far, but... It's not some sort of trap, is it? And is it just me, or does this place look familiar? Hmm. What's on your mind, Takuma? You've been pretty thoughtful for a while now. I don't know, it's just, I feel like I've been here before. But it could just be my imagination. You see all those red spirelos? Remember how they grew in the forest near that school? That might be why this place seemed familiar. Really? I don't think I've ever seen this place before. I mean, it's kind of like that forest, but it's not the same. Huh? What's this strange sensation? If he's right, this really is where I think it might be. Maybe the place you're thinking of with the red spider lilies is somewhere else. There's only one other place it could be. The real world? But it's from before I met Agumon, even before I found myself in that other world. That would mean... Could it be? Ah, uh, Takuma? Do you really know where we are? I think maybe this is... No, it has to be. It must be. Takuma, what's gotten into you? Takuma, wait! Both of you, follow me. This is where I think it is. It shouldn't be much farther. Suddenly, I find myself running. It's almost like my body is acting all by itself. I have to know. I have to be sure and that need drives me forward. Huff, huff, yes. It's gotta be there. It's just gotta be. Was it gonna be the tunnel? Yep, called it. I knew it. I was right. This is the same tunnel. We came through here to get to the shrine. And then we woke up in another world. Takuma! You mean, is it really true? 
It has to be. What's going on? What's true? What are you two talking about? I don't get it at all. What we're saying is, this might not be your world, Agumon. Huh? But if this isn't my world, then... What does that mean? Where are we? Come on, we need to get through this tunnel. That'll clear things up for sure. Yeah, if it's snowing. Hey, wait! Takuma, hold on. Now the question is, can they come through the tunnel? Well, I made it through the tunnel. That's a good start. Is this really? I've definitely never been here before. <laughs> yes, I remember this. This is the road that led to the shrine. That strange mist is gone. I thought it was too good to be true, but it wasn't. This is it. We're back. We made it back from that other world. Wait. What? You mean this is the world where you and your friends all came from, Takuma? That's right. This is it. Wow. So this is your world. That's great, Takuma. Yeah. Thanks, Agumon. Well, I sure wasn't expecting that, you know. This place is kind of weird, but... I'm glad I got to go back with you to your world, Takuma. And I'm glad you're here, too. I can't wait till Takuma figures out how... problematic Agumon would be in the real world. I'm so happy it worked. Huh? Wait. What do you mean, it worked? You don't remember what happened in the music room? The music room? Wait, now that I think back on it, yes. I remember. You were singing a song, and then all this white light started to surround us. You mean you did that, Mayuki? With the other half of my soul returned, looks like I managed to save you, Takuma. So the reason we're here right now because of something you did. I wasn't sure if it would really work or not myself. Looks like it did, though. I'm so glad. Wait, what? This whole conversation is so unexpected. I'm having a hard time keeping up. But Yuki brought us back to this world. That means she must know something, right? And what's she mean about half her soul? She mentioned that in the music room, too. And it's the music room, and it's a song. Come to think of it, what was she even doing in that world in the first place? More importantly, does she know what happened to the others? Probably most importantly. What about the others? So if we made it back because of you, can you tell me what happened to the others? I don't know. I've never tried to find out how much power was in my song before. Your song? You mean the one you were singing in that music room? Does it have something to do with us coming to this world? That song has been passed down in my family for generations. It has the power to link that world with this one. In other words, the real reason we're here right now is because of the power of that song. I guess the big takeaway is still that Mayuki is the reason we made it back. Now we'll have to think about what our next move is going to be. Hey, Takuma. There's something over there. What? It's not Piedmon and his cronies, is it? Was I wrong about us being back home? Are we still in that other world? No. It doesn't feel like one of us. I think it's other humans like you. Oh, phew. I started to panic for a second there. But if you're sensing humans, do you think maybe it's the others? It does seem possible that it could be Minoru or Aoi or anyone else. What do you think? Hmm, I can't really tell. So it might be the others or it might not be. Am I really back in my world or am I still in that other one? This should settle things once and for all. Akumon, Mayuki, let's keep going just a bit farther. Yeah, because we're still in the digital world. Oh, yep, that's very different problems. I don't think these are the same people as before. Takuma, 
Look. Wow. It really is a human I've never seen before. Sure is. Well, there's no doubt about it. We're definitely back in our world. That's true, but, uh... Hmm? Mayuki, is something wrong? Oh, no, it's nothing. Just something's bothering me, that's all. I don't know. She looks pretty upset. What could be bothering her that much? Mayuki, are you feeling okay? Yeah. Oh, is it Agumon she's worried about? Is she afraid of what might happen if he's seen? No, it's probably her brother. Maybe she's anxious about whether Minoru and the others made it here okay. I don't think she cares about Minoru more than her brother. And again, she could be concerned about Haru. There you go, Takuma. Um, Haru? I'm sure you must be worried about your brother now that you've been separated. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm concerned about him too. Huh? Is Haru not what was bothering her? So when is it right now? Hmm? Oh, you know, I've been out of it for a while, lost all track of time. It's kind of been bothering me. Oh no, she's gonna find out that everyone she knew is dead. Pretty sure it's been about a week since we first arrived in that other world. Oh, that doesn't mean it's the same amount of time in both worlds. I'm sure that's caused a big stir. This could be bad, especially since Minoru and the others still aren't back yet. I'll never be able to explain what happened with the others still in that other world. What am I going to do? Um, Takuma, we might have a problem. What now? There's people over there. They keep looking in Agumon's direction. Oh, right, Agumon. You need to hide quick. Huh? But why, Takuma? Remember how we talked about there not being anything like you in this world? If they find you, things could get real bad. But do I really have to hide? Just for a little while, stay out of sight while Mayuki and I go talk to them, okay? Oh. Alright, if you say so. But it better not be for long. Whew. I think we actually managed to take care of that before anybody noticed. <laughs> I think so, too. But you said you wanted to go talk with those people, right? What do you want to find out? First of all, I want to know what people in this world think of our disappearance. We've been missing for days, and that's sure to have caused some sort of commotion. Yeah. Anyway, let's see what they have to say about it. I don't know why it highlights certain words. I feel like that's probably something I should know. Maybe I should pump the locals for some info. Weird phrasing. Wait. Hmm. This seems to tell me nothing. Alright. What do you got for us? Hey, I haven't seen y'all before. Don't tell me you're the missing students. Fuck. Uh, er, we, we... Crap. Now what am I supposed to say? It's not safe to, to lollygag around here, so get back to your school already. Everyone's probably worried sick. Back to school? What do you mean? Things were shaking so hard it started a landslide. Students even went missing. So all students who are still safe got called back to school, apparently. I'd go too if I were you. What do you mean, have there been any reports of strange things going on around here? That's a stupid way to phrase it. I mean, it seems like something's going on. Oh, it's been going on all right. It's like there's been quite a fuss over us after all. What if the police ask us what happened? What will we say? You see, a few students who came here to go camping went missing. Everyone's saying they might have got caught in the landslide. The police just left to meet with their teacher a few minutes ago. Just a few minutes ago? Huh. What's he talking about? How many days have passed since the landslide when we went to the other world? What does all this mean, Takuma? I have no clue, honestly. I guess time passes at different rates here in this world and in the other one. Yeah, because, like, no time passed in this one. 
This world? The other one? What the heck are you going on about? Uh, nothing. Just ignore that. Anyway, how's the shrine where the landslide happened? Is it holding up? Oh, aren't you inquisitive? But I don't think they've finished investigating yet. The shrine was in ruins already, so they've been telling people not to go near it. The shrine in ruins? What? What's with my Yuki all of a sudden? Oh, it's been decades since anyone looked after that old place. Apparently it used to be quite nice. You'd never guess from the way it is now, though. D decades What is it, Mayuki? Anyway, it's not safe to go there, so I'd stay away if I were you. Well, fuck. Do you know Mayuki? You guys might be the same age. My goodness, are you children lost? Oh, no, we just stopped to rest here for a while. Is that so? That's all right then, but many children do get lost around here. These woods have so many confusing little game trails, and yet they come anyway. There's some sort of camp or something they have around this time of year. Ah, yes, of course. Those of us who live nearby always get worried when children are around. It's a weird thing to say. Only natural after all those disappearances. That would have been 50 years ago now. Disappearances? Oh, there was such an outcry. Who could forget? And the children were never found? Never. It was a mass disappearance. Even the famous Manet's family lost a daughter. No, you don't mean... She was about the same age as that girl over there. Looked about the same, too. <laughs> she just likes Akiharu. Mineza's sister, actually. Haru. Hmm. Mayuki looks like a girl who disappeared 50 years ago. And didn't that lady say Mineza? That's Mayuki's last name, too. What the heck is going on? Is it just by chance, or could it be? Excuse me, but um, whatever happened to the kids that disappeared? Well, who knows? Everyone in the village went out and searched high and low. Never found anyone. No, wait. Now that I think about it, they did find one little boy. That was all. Oh! Wait, does this mean... Mayuki, what's wrong? What? Oh, uh. You're looking quite pale there, dearie. Are you okay? She really is pale. She hasn't been looking great since she heard what the lady said, but... Why? Huh? What was that noise? Hey, Takuma! Is it okay to stop hiding now? God damn it. This dumb motherfucker. What? Agumon! Ah! What is that thing? A ghost? A monster? No, it's just this stuffed animal. See? Oh, but I saw it move and talk all by itself. It's got a computer chip in, inside. Like one of those stuffed animals that can walk and talk. It's not like one of those, it is one of those. Right, Mayuki? Shit, that's the name of the girl that went missing. I mean, yes, that's right. It's all because of a computer. Takuma, what's a computer? See, look, it repeats back what you say. Amazing technology, isn't it? I see. Technology is getting pretty advanced these days, I suppose. Huh? I have no idea what you two are talking about. <laughs> well, I guess we should get going. We know the way from here, so... Are you sure? Okay, then you be careful now. Whew, that was harder than I thought. But she bought it. Yeah, she was pretty shocked. But by what exactly? Hmm. By what? Come on. I told you to stay hidden, Agumon. <laughs> Sorry, but you were talk taking your time, so I started to get curious. I guess Agumon couldn't help it. He's bound to be curious now that he's in our world for the first time. But if anyone else sees you, we're going to be in big trouble. Here, hold my hand and pretend to be a stuffed animal from now on. So all I have to do is hold your hand? Not quite sure I get it, but if you say so. Oh jeez, please let this work. 
So where are we going now? The school, I guess. We might be able to find some answers there. What about you, Mayuki? Are you okay with that? Yes, there's something I want to check on at the school. Alright then, let's get going. Yeah! Something about what that old woman said bothers me, and that my and then Mayuki's reaction. A mass disappearance, huh? Does Mayuki know something about that? Sigh. Mayuki, is something wrong? You seem upset. Oh, it's nothing you need to worry about. Is it something you'd rather not talk about? Well, I'm not sure you'd believe me if I told you. I believe everything you say, Mayuki. Yeah, same here. Besides, we just came from another world. It doesn't get much more unbelievable than that. <laughs> I guess that's true. Here's the thing, Takuma. Everything's felt wrong to me since we've returned to this world. Even though I'm sure it's where I came from, I don't recognize anything about this place. Yeah, like that cop car? What are you saying? Look, this might be a weird question, but what year is it right now? This year is 2020. Takuma, fuck. Out of all that you couldn't... Unpredictable weather, disasters. Oh, now it all makes sense. 2020? So it's true. This really is a different time. A different time? What are you talking about? This must be a different era from the one I lived in. Huh? Could she really be from a different era? Is that even possible? Why she looks so angry? She's not from a different era. Those are millions of years. And you're sure this isn't some sort of mistake or misunderstanding? It can't be. When I lived here, the shrine wasn't some abandoned ruin. And what's a computer? I've never even heard of one before. I don't know about Japan, but the US has had computers for like 70 years. I don't think Mayuki is that old. It's all different. Everything's changed from the scenery down to people's clothes. Nothing is the way I remember it. So you tell me, Takuma, what do you think is going on? Well, what year do you think it is? That can't be, can it? That would have to mean... Is it to I'm flowing differently? What do you mean? Well, if days were minutes... I don't know enough math for that. It sounds like the flow of time in your world is different than in this one, Agumon. You're in that other world for days. But here it's only been a few hours. And it's also an entirely different era now than the one I grew up in. What... what am I supposed to do? Mayuki? He doesn't look too good. I think we'd better find somewhere to rest. Good idea. We're not far from the school, so we can head there. Think you can make it, Mayuki? Mm-hmm. So... She's crying. Must be quite a shock to return to this world, only to find it's not really your own. Whew, we finally made it. It's funny, after all that time in the other world, now this school looks wrong to me. This place. This is like where I went to school. Only a lot nicer somehow. Probably has windows now. Probably another result of how much time it's been since Mayuki lived here. Even having made it back, I still feel like I have no idea what's going on. So what are we going to do now, Takuma? What do you mean? We came here to rest, didn't we? Yes, but there's still a lot we don't know. I was thinking we should look into things. You mean, you want to search the school? 
I don't know about a surge, but we could find a teacher and ask what's going on. In that case, we should probably have Agumon hide somewhere again. What? Again? Uh, well, can we? Pr uh, we can keep pretending Agumon some kind of toy thing because he'll get into trouble by himself. So do we find a teacher or a rest? Yeah, let's find a teacher. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think we should start by finding a teacher. I'm sure they're looking for us, after all. Well, just me. Maybe they know something. If that's what we're going to do. Sorry, Agumon, but you're going to need to hide. Again? But I want to stay with you, Takuma. Everything worked out before when I pretended to be a stuffed animal. I'm coming too. No, you're not. That trick isn't going to work if any of the students notice you. I'm sorry, Agumon. Fine, but you'd better come back soon. Okay, Agumon. You hide in the bushes on the more shaded side of the building. Remember that stuffed animal trick probably won't fool the students like before. But you can try it. So you'll need to be careful and stay out of sight, okay? <laughs> it's kind of like hide and seek. Agumon probably doesn't know what that is. Hide and seek, huh? Well, I can do that. I'll hide so good no one will ever find me. Haha, <laughs> you'd better. Alright now, let's head inside. See what we can learn and try to find a teacher. Oh, wow, we actually are having an exploration section. Or is it just... Oh, we actually get multiple areas of the school. I would not have guessed that. End of free battle? What the? Huh. Weird. I guess we'll head to the classroom first. Well, what is all this? Because none of this was here before. The landmark by the cherry trees. A nature focused class. The rack is lined with pamphlets to showcase this area. Black. There's a timetable for what we're supposed to do at the site, but it's pretty rough. Probably because we each had to submit a more detailed schedule on our own. A guide to the landmark field work is written on the panel. The teacher said this is held every year and that students join from all over. This place is secretly famous among history buffs for all the rare landmarks. Did he say secretly famous? I don't think that's how landmarks work. Ooh. I'd like to check the news or something, but the remote's nowhere to be found. Guess someone forgot to put it back. Well, now my Yuki doesn't get to see a TV. Women's fashion magazines, children's picture books, comics. There's nothing odd about any of them, and none contain any useful info. Alright. And now, the corridor. I should try talking to the other campers. Right. <laughs> Did you hear the people who went camping have gone missing? For real? What happened? I haven't heard any details. A teacher's been running all over looking for them. And we're supposed to just wait here for now? Holy crap, this is worse than I expected. Takuma, 
They're talking about you and your friends, aren't they? Yeah, I think they are. The teachers and students here still have no idea what happened. Alright. Oh, I should try talking. So, uh, it could have just went in any order and chose the wrong one. Huh, the teachers? They all went off somewhere. Maybe they're looking for the campers that never came back. There were a lot of them. A lot of them? Either they got caught in the landslide or they stuck around to check it out. Lots of people still haven't showed up at school. I like that her name is Braided Girl. Boyish Girl. Oh my god. Some people left school to go check out the landslide apparently. The teachers must really be freaking out over this. Mayuki, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I just got surprised when that TV turned on by itself. Oh yeah, someone must have used the remote. Looks like it's set to the news. You mean, now you can turn on the TV? On from far away? And hey, the image is in color. The picture's even nicer than on that big one I saw in the electronics shop that one time. Remote controls and color TVs are things most of us take for granted. Sounds like a lot really has changed between now and when Mayuki lived here. This says it's today's news, but the date's the same as when we left for the shrine. So it's true, hardly any time has passed since we crossed over into that world. Yes, but not for me. Apparently it's been ages since I was taken. At first, I didn't think it was possible. I'm sure Mayuki's not lying. Some of the things the professor told me. That photograph we found in the other world, and that incident, the old woman said happened 50 years ago. I feel like they're all connected. Could Haru and Mayuki have been swallowed up by that other world 50 years ago? Takuma, look! Huh? Oh, the location they're showing for this news story. It's not far from the shrine. It says several students go missing from camp after Major Landslide. So it did make the news. Oh, this is bad. This means someone could recognize me as one of the missing kids. If they find out I came back, but nobody else did, they'll ask about the others for sure. How can I explain what happened? T Takuma! Hmm? What now? This story. What story? Is there something else on the news? Huh? That cable car. Oh. It does look familiar. And the story is accident at a defunct cable car ropeway. I recognize that cable car. Do you think it's the same one? It has to be. It sounds like Mayuki's thinking the same thing I am. But wait, what's this next story? Abandoned factory collapses in landslide? Blocking nearby roads? It's the same place. You recognize it too, Takuma. Recognize it? We were just there. It's where we fought Piedmon. I knew it. That must be what's going on. Wait, did you figure something out? A landslide at a shrine, a cable car accident, and a factory collapsing. What could it all mean? What did Mayuki realize just now? Isn't it all just coincidences? How could she have known everything from the start? Hold on, I don't know what to make of any of it. I don't know what to make of any of it, other than those places are real. I feel like my head is spinning. You mean this isn't all just coincidences? You think you know what's going on? What do you know? Well, it's not like I have all the answers, but... I'll tell you what I know. First, I think we'd better go somewhere else. You're right. 
If we stay here, someone else might overhear us. Okay, oh, of course the music room. I don't think we need to worry about anyone eavesdropping on us here. Right, so I'll start explaining. But you have to understand, this is all guesswork on my part. I think the world we're in right now, this world, the one we got dragged into, the other world, are connected. No shit! That makes sense. Otherwise we couldn't travel between them. That's not what I mean. I'm saying if there's an accident in the other world, then a corresponding event will happen in this world. I don't know if that's true. Mm -hmm. That would explain those accidents we saw in the news. But how? Remember what happened with the cable car at the abandoned factory? The cable car in the factory. What was it that happened to us there? Wait, I've got it. So that's what this is about. The site of the cable car accident is where Rio died. And that landslide happened at the factory where we fought Piedmon. So you're saying the two worlds influence each other. Well, I don't see a clear relation. As if they were overlapped. To be precise, I think things that happen in that world have an influence on this one. There's something else those places had in common too. There could be more proof. They had something else in common? Really? What else links those places besides location? A shared feature of both worlds. You mean the fog? Exactly. In both of those places, we had to deal with the fog. But what about the water sewer thing? And the dam? Whenever something happened, the fog would roll in and cover the whole area. So in other worlds, bad things happen where the fog shows up in the other world. And then that has some sort of effect on this world too. Is that it? I think so. That's terrible. The fog showed up here at this school in the other world. The others might all still be there. What if something happens to them? And we're the only ones who know about this. Takuma. Which means we're also the only ones who can do something about it. Wait, so you're saying... No, come on. You can't be serious. But I am. We're the only ones who can save them, Takuma. It's down to us. We have to go back to the other world and save them. But what can we do? We don't even know how to go back. Oh, but we do. Huh? You saw how my song was able to join the two worlds, right? It's about both of you. Passed down in the Manes family for generations. I can join the worlds again. Wait, passed down in the Manet's family? Wasn't that the family the old woman said lost a daughter in her mass disappearance? Yes, that was me. I thought so. But does that mean you and Haru crossed in the world that world 50 years ago? Apparently. So those two spent 50 years all alone in that world. That's crazy! Man, my head's starting to spin again. I need to stay focused on the big picture. Anyway, you've inherited this strange power that could take us back there. But let's say we did manage to return to that other world. What do we do about that fog? The master is the one who controls the fog. The master. The one who robbed me of half of my soul. The same being who consumes children in the other world. Come to think of it, Haru Kenimon and Paimon did say the offerings were for the master. But why did this master steal half your soul? Fifty years ago, when I was drawn into that world, there were many other children that were taken as well. So at first, I thought I was like them, brought over by chance. 
but it wasn't what the master is really after. It's the blood of the maiden. Um, in other words, he's after you. Right. The master covets the holy power I inherited as a member of the Manese family. He wants to use that power to satisfy a grudge that goes back hundreds of years. So this is all about some ancient grudge. This is insane. Please, Takuma, I want you to help me. I want to bring an end to the master's hate. Not just for me, for my brother, for Haru. I need to stop the master. Stop him? How are we supposed to stop him? I don't know. But we can't just stay here and do nothing. More than anything, I don't want to leave Haru all alone. Mayuki? Besides, if that other world falls apart, I doubt this one will fare much better. You're right. I know you're right, but... But what are we supposed to do? Whatever's happening, it's big, big enough that it could mean the end of both worlds. To be honest, I'm scared I can't imagine what I might be able to do to stop it. But Mayuki wants to go back. She wants to save her brother. It's not like I want to just abandon the others. I want to save them too. But I don't see how I can. I don't have that kind of strength. I'm just a kid. I don't have superpowers. How am I supposed to save the world? Can I really turn my back on Mayuki? What am I supposed to do? Ah, I mean, I can't leave them. You know, Mayuki, I don't want to abandon the others either. I want to save them. So does that mean you'll help? Here's the thing. I don't see how anything I can do could help possibly make a difference. I'm just an ordinary kid. I didn't inherit any special powers like you. Sure. I, f I fought with all I had in the other world. But really, when you get down to it... You've got Agumon, don't you? Haven't the two of you always found some way to rise to the challenge? Mayuki is right. Every challenge I've faced so far, I've been able to overcome with Agumon at my side. Why should this be any different? It shouldn't be, really. I know it shouldn't, but... I don't know. I feel like somehow coming back to this world turned me into a coward. Takuma, please. I just don't know what I should do. Takuma? Takuma, is that you? Fuck. It is you. You're okay. Oh, teacher. Why didn't you check in with someone? Do you know how hard we've been looking for you? Maybe you haven't heard, but some students may have gone missing. It's terrible. Oh, sorry. You were in the group with Minoru, weren't you? What happened to the others? If that's a question that needs answering, then they probably didn't make it back. Not that I had much hope they did anyway. And who is this girl? Oh, I'm... I haven't gotten a chance to say it since she was last surprised, but I love her little jump back when she's startled or surprised and how, how they animate her hair up. Like mid jump. Oh no. I, actually, I got separated from the others. I wound up completely lost, so I had this sh girl show me the way back. Isn't that right? Oh, yes, that's exactly what happened. I live nearby, so I knew the way. I see. Well, even if it's just you, Takuma, I'm glad you made it back safe. I hope the others are okay, too. The teachers must all be convinced that the others got caught in the landslide. Listen, Takuma, I want you to wait here in the school for a little while, okay? You too, miss. It's probably best if you stick around until things settle down. I can't believe this is happening. 
The landslide alone would have been bad enough. Wait, you mean something else happened besides the landslide? Yeah, some talking bear monster thing apparently showed up near that old shrine. Monzemon? Apparently, he's caused quite the scene. A monster? But how? Oh, I'm sure it can't actually speak. That has to be some kind of mistake. The witnesses must have been scared out of their minds. Considering the timing of those reports, I wonder. Strange monster that can talk. That couldn't be Agumon, could it? No, no. Agumon's hiding nearby. Which only leaves one other possibility. Takuma, you don't think. Mayuki's face just went white as a sheet. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this at all. Could this really be who I think it is? Takuma, I have a bad feeling about this. Hold on, we can't be sure of anything yet. For all we know, it could be Minoru and Falcomon, or any of the others. But if it were, don't you think they'd know to avoid attracting attention like we did? She's right. Except for Minoru. Besides, if we really didn't come back alone, there was only one other monster nearby. Do, do you really think it's him? What's gotten into you two? You're worried about something. You know you can tell me. Mayuki, we need to be sure. Right. Hey, where do you, you think you're going? Sorry, but we really have to go. First, we need to get back to where we left Akamon. Man, he was a bad teacher to let us run off like that. Akamon, sorry that took so long. Hooray! You're back! I got so tired of waiting. We'll have to talk later. Right now, we need to hurry back to the shrine. What? Why? What's going on? Come on, Agumon. Let's go. See, in here it looks like they gave Mayuki black, mostly black hair with a little purple hair. Hey, Takuma, is that you? You made it. Whoa, what's the rush? Takuma, Mayuki, wait up. What the? What was that? That didn't look like a costume. I had that costume as a kid. <laughs> Man, what was that just now? Uh, some kind of monster, obviously. It was on a rampage. Takuma, did you hear that? Sure did. Not a good sign. We should pick up the pace. Hey, stop. You two really don't want to go that way. Takuma, Mayuki, slow down. What's going on? Uh, it's another monster. <sighs> Takuma, are you okay? Ow, I got so worked up I tripped over my own feet. Yeah, I'm alright. Hey, where are you rushing off to? You don't want to go that way. It's dangerous. Takuma, we have to hurry or... I know, just a second. You look like you fell. Are you alright? Don't worry. Takuma's got me. So everything's got fine. Oh, it's, it's a monster. Stay back. Oh, we don't have time for this. Mayuki, Akuman, let's go. Oh, Piedmon. You're missing your shoulder. Grr, what is this place? Where am I? What's going on? Is that some sort of cosplay? Everyone stay back. This area is so unstable. But even the inner shrine has collapsed. Aww. Humans. So many of them. What's going on? I was swallowed up by the maelstrom. And then the master. Did he betray me? Oh, look, he's all fixed up. Ah, who is that? What's going on? Sir, I'm not sure what you're doing. I want you to turn around and come quietly. Bah, enough. He's dead. Wow. I don't know why that braided hair 
girl left the school. Takuma, did you hear that? And I know that feeling. Takuma, there's an enemy up ahead. Damn it. This is just what I hoped wasn't happening. Takuma, look! It was Piedmon. He's here in this world. Only something's not right. He's covered in wounds and he looks absolutely furious. Oh, oh no, this is awful. The shrine's completely collapsed. Even the inner shrine must have been destroyed. Huh? The inner shrine? What's that got to do with anything? Is there something important inside it? I shouldn't get distracted right now. We need to find a way to deal with Piedmon. Hey kids, this place is dangerous. Stay back. This is bad. Back everyone. Get back. How can this be? Master, did I not serve you well? Why is this to be my fate? Hi, Demon. Mayuki, stay back. He's out of his mind. Piedmon, you're wrong. Wrong? How am I wrong? Your master, he's not what you think. Do not speak such lies. Oh no, Piedmon's going to attack Mayuki. Cover for her. If I don't do something, Mayuki's done for. It's only one thing to do. You leave her alone. Takuma, what are you doing? Urgh. Mayuki, back off before it's too late. All right. You filthy human. You would dare strike me. Fortunately, unforgivable. You'll pay for that with your life. Well, that's not good. He's actually mad now. You'll pay for thwarting me just now. Please, would you just hear me out? I don't know what you hope to accomplish with your trickery, but it isn't going to work. You've got it all wrong. All I want is for you to listen to me. Mayuki, stay back. But I need to get through to him. Does she really think she can convince Piedmon? I don't think she has much chance. I am going to drag you back. Regain my master's favor. That's not how it works. That's what I've been trying to tell you. More lies. Believe me, I know. The whole time my soul was lost, I saw the world as your master did. He never cared about you to begin with. Lies and deceit. Why should I believe you? You speak only in falsehoods. Not a word you say is true. I will not stand for such blasphemy against the master. It's no use. Any more of this will only make things worse. We have to stop Piedmon now. Agumon. On it, Takuma. Ready to fight whenever you say the word. I will start by slaughtering these pests. And I will return you to the master, Maiden. Here he comes, Takuma. Right. I don't see any way around a fight now. I can save my second thoughts for later. Akuma, we're doing this. Alright. Well, Akuma should be dead. Whoa, this is crazy. Can you believe this? You think this is for a movie or something? No way! It's gotta be real! That smaller one couldn't possibly be a fake. Hold on, let me get some pictures. Terrible picture. Hey, you three! This place is dangerous. You shouldn't be here. Go take shelter. What is it? Who? Why did they think he was a bear? Oh. Eh, the Kiwi Mono. Oh! Mmm, I wish you were stronger. Mm. Well, two of these choices are easy. Um. Um, oh, I'm sorting. Uh, alright. I can't evolve, but I can give equipment to someone. I guess I should probably bring along one of these ultimates. And I 
feel like it's gotta be Edmond. This is damage to well, a lot of serenades got this one. Oh wait, I know. He is a virus. I'm guessing oh wait, he's not a virus. Probably bad that I don't know what's strong against what. I guess Mon's a Mon. Mon's a Mon, I really don't know what I want to give you. I guess that and like, if I had another one of those, that'd be pretty cool. What's the skill crystal do? Yeah, give him some SP. Alright, let's start this battle. trained up at least two of these people. your own attacks then. Hit him with a good, good, good destroyer. Do something. Ooh, hydro water. Um, can't do anything. Metal Greymon, I probably should have turned a different way. That was unreal. So freaking cool. It's like something straight out of a movie. This is the last thing I need right now. Hey, let's get closer so we can take a video. Sweet. This is gonna blow up on social media for sure. Fuck. Pipeline's gonna go kill those kids. Take this. Whoa, that was a close one. I almost got hit. Yikes. Watch out for that debris. Everyone stay back. It's really dangerous, so you need to keep your distance. Um, hmm. Hmm. There's nothing else I really need. Just to see what it looks like. If I do attack him, oh, that's not much damage. Acceleration charge on yourself. Wonder what this is. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Ah, oh, I can't hit them.
How does this? They both just do a little thing. They're probably not going to go after Monzemon. His move boost already ended. Oh fuck. See if the counterattack. 16% chance to. They're both paralyzed, which is great for me. Especially because this will finish them. Or at least finish one of them. Um. Yeah. There. Now he just needs to... to get him close enough to do an attack. Does that... I did not move closer. That's just as close. I have to move here to get any closer. And it missed. Fuck. Double fuck. I get revive item. Ah, no, that's not a thing this game does. Close enough. Come on, stay alive. Oh, fuck. Alright, I need to do enough damage to trigger a cutscene. Good, he's paralyzed. Stay paralyzed. If these two win it, Can't even see the line that's supposed to damage him. These two beating him up right now is the greatest thing I've seen. Oh fuck. Crit. Uh, fuck, here we go. I should have had Metal Seedramon turn around. 
so he'd be more likely to attack him. All right, so we're back with our four people all against, oh, what's his fucking name? Piedmon. Hopefully, okay, good, that hit. Okay, so that's the one that... I need HP... That's just... what... Oh, that's to a lot of people. He can move enough that it's, I can stay out. I can back away, but still get there quickly. If you can paralyze him. One Simon. As long as this hits. Fuck! Damn it. Good thing he's not gonna move to a more advantageous position. What's this? How about a, just a big. Oh, wait, not a big bandage. Right, so he's gonna need more SP. Count as a rear strike. Uh, I don't want to get behind him. In case of a counter. Ninety-two percent. Do it. Monzemon got like six level ups. Which, if I had been thinking, I probably would have trained him a little better. Oh wow, he also got a bunch. Probably would have trained him. I guess I didn't know how many people I could have. Perfect enlightenment slab. We, we won! Takama! I did it! I beat Piedmon! Yeah, way to go, Agumon. Piedmon is absolutely covered in wounds. He probably can't even move anymore. But is it safe to just leave him like that? Then again, I don't really want to kill him. T Takuma! Agumon! Look at Piedmon! Huh? He, he actually got back up! Even with all those wounds. How does he still have the strength? That's some determination. How dare you. I don't like the way he's glaring at us right now, Takuma. What do we do? What can we do? This might be more than the two of us can handle. Don't worry about me. 
For you, Takuma, I could keep fighting forever. Uncle Mon. I know he means it, but he, we can't go on like this. He took a lot of damage in that fight. And I don't have the heart to put him through anymore. Is this all we can manage on our own? Without the others? Are we not good enough? Don't give up, you two! Mayuki? I'm going to open the door. When I do, you take care of Piedmon. Seriously? Urgh. A cursed maiden. What are you scheming now? It's that song. The same song I heard in the music room. Wow, your voice is so pretty, Mayuki. Huh? The wind's starting to pick up. Takuma, look! There's some sort of light! It's just like before. That same white light I saw when Mayuki saved us in the music room is growing again. Hm. What is this white light? Is this the power of the maiden? Takuma, now! Oh, I get it. If we can force Piedmon inside... Yeah! Ugh, what is this? Can't you tell? We're sending you back to your world. Stop it! No! We did it. Takuma, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Well, that solves our immediate problem, but... That doorway of light is still there. I know what that means, but I find myself unable to say anything. Takuma, I've made up my mind. Made up your mind? To do what? Do you remember what I said when I saw that the shrine had collapsed? Uh, you mean about the inner shrine being destroyed? Yes, that shrine is very important to the master. Its presence has helped keep some of his power in check up until now. But if it's been destroyed, it won't be long before that entire island is covered in fog. The entire island? But that would mean... All our friends are going to get swallowed up by that scary fog? We're running out of time, both in this world and the other one. If we don't do something, whatever happens is sure to have a huge effect on this world. Well, yeah, and we've been here for, like, at least an hour. So that means, like, a day or more has passed in the other world. So, what am I supposed to do? I need you to help me. I want to protect this world. I want to save everyone. This world needs to be protected. So do our friends more than anything, and so do I. After all, I'm sure the master wants to take me back. Mayuki, I... Takuma? What should I do? No, what do I want to do? Part of me wants to save the world, like Mayuki says. But I know how hard that's going to be. Is this even a choice? Then again, if I don't do anything, I'll be turning my back on all my friends. They've done so much for me, I hate to just abandon them. But... Am I really up to taking on something that could mean the end of the world? Besides, I never asked to go to that other world. I got dragged in without a choice. And now that I'm finally free of that awful death trap, I'm supposed to go back? For all I know, that could cost me my life. I don't know if I'm prepared for that. Takuma. Agumon. That's right. If I gave up now, I'd also be giving up on Agumon. And that's definitely not something I want to do. He, he means so much to me, unlike all those other people. The path branches off here. Save the game. Yes, please. Uh, I'm just going to make this save number one. Wow, I've been playing this game for six weeks. We're going to put two. So I don't mess it up. But given all that, what do I want to do? 
Save the world, be true to my friends, never go back. What's the difference here? Or just... I mean... Maybe... This will be a good place to end this. Because I know this video has run long. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this episode of Digimon Survive. Be sure to come back next time where we'll probably, we'll just go back to the digital world. But as always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!